Is it better for gas to be more powerful or consistent? I say, is it too much to ask for both? With that in mind, we decided to test all available gases to us that we could get our hands on, of which each have incorporated their own proprietary mix of ingredients. I'm Tim, and this is Red Wolf Labs. Let's say you have yourself your dream supercar. Are you going to use the cheap gas, or are you going to spend a little bit more buying that high octane stuff? In airsoft terms, performance and accuracy rely heavily on the consistency of the gas that you use. Here are our contenders. Top Gas has been a staple of GBB propellant in Hong Kong and Asia since the beginning of modern conventional gas blowback pistols. WE is a cheap budget gas that is very popular in Asia. Superpower is a cheap, no-named brand of gas. Will it surprisingly outperform the rest of the advertised gases? Gunner Gas has been around for three years at the time of this video and has a mixed reputation in the airsoft community. Classic Army has a heavy silicon mix, making it great for GBB maintenance, but how will it fare amongst the others? Black 2 is a relatively new gas which has proven very popular this year, but is it any good? Vega Force V gas is labelled as a high quality green gas in a blue bottle, but will it prove as high quality as the label claims? Pop Dino gas is somewhat new and has quickly gained a good reputation for being more powerful than anything else. Airsoft Surgeon gas is the new kid on the block, hoping to take the airsoft market by storm using its new ingredient mix. So how does one test gas? By how it smells or does it help red wine breathe? None of that, but we are going to follow this formula. The initial velocity minus the final velocity divided by the initial velocity times 100 equals the percentage loss. For the initial velocity, we average the first three shots and for the final velocity, we average the last three. We will also allow the magazine an hour to reheat in between the 10 shot test and gas swap. The reason why we are using this particular model is because it is the industry standard. Marui has very tight manufacturing tolerances which will lead to more consistent results between gases. The actual shots themselves will be taken in a temperature controlled environment held at a steady 22 degrees centigrade. We have 9 different brands of gas so let's see how they fare. First up is the airsoft surgeon gas in the high kappa. Puff Dino Gas Black 2 Gas We take gas. Got a gas. VFC gas. Top 
Top Gas. Classic Army Gas. Superpower Gas. And now for the results, and that's you, wow, okay, that is really messy. What we were trying to plot here was the FPS on every shot, according to the gas that we used, but since this is so confusing, we're going to smoothen it out over a three shot average. Now we have a better picture of the results. Notice that just under half of the gases have the first three shot average of 332 FPS, with the rest of them being only insignificantly lower. Even only after our 10-shot experiment, the gases began to show cooldown. But how much? Now this chart shows the percentage loss between the first three shots and the last three shots of each gas used. Basically, the lower the bar, the better. With Airsoft Surgeon at front, Puff Dino next and second, and Vega Force third. Now the next chart shows the stability of the gas. Again, the lower the bar, the better. With Airsoft Surgeon, Puff Dino and Vega Force first, second, and third, respectively. Now, the trend line is a very important factor here. As you can tell, we are trying to follow the most consistent gas, which turns out to be the aerosol surgeon gas. The gradient of the line is incredibly smooth, which goes to show how consistent the gas is and the fact that it was able to sustain the most power even after 10 shots, as you can tell right here. Our results speak for themselves, as the Estel Surgeon gas proved to be the most consistent and sustained the most power over the 10 shot period. Its cooldown basically non-existent at 0.5%. There could have been more improvements we could have made, for example, timing the shots with a metronome and having more repetition for scientific accuracy. Unfortunately, logistical and time restraints prevented us from doing a more thorough experiment. On another note, there are plenty of other gases out there that we could have added to this experiment. For example, WE have released two different types of gas, one for the very cold winter and one for the very hot summer. And unfortunately, being in Hong Kong, we cannot get our hands on it, but when it eventually makes its way to us, we could possibly do a further experiment. But this experiment is about the gases we did test here and now. An aerosol surgeon came out at front with Puff Dino second and Vega Force a very close third. I really hope you found this experiment very informative. And so for these cool products and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. If you haven't watched some of our previous videos, I suggest you take a look at these. Do subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with our newest and coolest videos.